Hey guys, it's Bean Homeless from 300. Welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Gold and Sun. I mean, what? What? I didn't even try to do it that time. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go. Just, no. Okay. I'm back. I'm back in action. Let's go find out what the commotion is at Pokemon Square. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, I don't like this. Panning shots. Panning shots. Where did the music go? Huh? The town's atmosphere feels different somehow. Maybe something's happened? Charmander, let's check it out. No, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Look, why is everyone gathered together? Hi, what's going on? Let me tell you, I was amazed. It was really true. What was true? The Nine Tails legend. I never believed the rumors, so you can bet I was shocked to learn the truth. Charmander Pikachu. Oh, hi, Caterpie. Even you came out, Caterpie. Yes. Shush. Shush, quiet. That guy there is telling us to keep it down. Huh? Who's talking? It, it, it's... Oh, shit. G Gengar? So I went up to the Hill of the Ancients. And that's where I saw it. It was shocking stuff, I tell you. <laughs> shocking stuff? This certain Pokemon was getting advice from Zatu. That Pokemon, it looks like an ordinary Pokemon. But get this! It was originally a human! W what? It really existed. A human that turned into a Pokemon. There's more. Zatu told the human that how the human became a Pokemon has a lot to do with how the world's balance is upset. Wait a second. That's exactly like the Nine Tails legend. <laughs> Don't be too shocked yet. There's more. You all know how there's been many natural disasters, correct? According to Zatu, those disasters are caused by the world's balance being upset. And if the world's balance isn't restored soon, the unthinkable will happen to the world. That's what Zatu said. Who, what? The world. The unthinkable is going to happen. What are we to do? That Gengar? He's deliberately working everyone up. Now, now, people. There's no need to panic. Why, well, I think there's a way we can do something about this. What can we do? Oh, it's quite simple, actually. If the world's balance is upset because by a human becoming a Pokemon, then, if that human is gone, everything should return to normal, correct? That's true? But when you put it that way, maybe you're right. <laughs> and the human is the rotten coward that abandoned God of War, correct? Well, good thing it isn't me, then. <laughs> I don't think the human can complain about anything if we get rid of it. Isn't that right, Charmander? Yeah, don't you try to pin this on me! Don't you dare! Wha- What? It, it can't be! You- You are that human? No. Is that true? Hey! Wait. This is, like- There's a good explanation for- We're not asking you, we're asking Charmander! Hey, Charmander, so what is it? Are you really the human that was in the legend? I might be. What's it to you, punk? Charmander. <laughs> Looks like you have nothing to say in your defense, Charmander. That's how it is, fellow Pokemon. Let's get rid of Charmander and regain peace. <laughs> what? Everyone, what's gotten into you? What are you gonna do? Pikachu. Let's... Let's blow this joint! Ow! Fuck! It hurt! What are you doing? Ah! Trying to run! Let's pull this joint! Serves them right! <laughs> Let's pull this joint! <laughs> wow, that was a real shock! I never expected everyone to attack us like that! But listen, Charmander, why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you argue that it's not you? 
should have said you're not the human that appears in the legend. Ah, Pikachu. Huh? What is it? Oh, I don't like either of these options. I'm tired of this. Huh? You're tired? What are you saying? Huh? You don't think you deserve to be on a rescue team? What's wrong? What makes you th say that? That doesn't sound like you at all, Charmander. Tell me, what's the matter? Uh, huh? You had a dream? And Gardevoir appeared in it? <sighs> I'll be on, sorry. And that made you think that maybe you were that human after all? So, that's what it is. That's what happened. Listen, Charmander. Did your dream make you remember what you were like as a human being? Since it didn't, you don't know what it really happened. I... I have faith in you, Charmander. You know that? So... Yeah! Oh, we can't fight these guys. We should run. We should run. After that scene in Pokemon Square. You held a town... We held a town meeting. On what we must do to save the world. And we arrived at a consensus. We must get rid of you. You're kidding! I was incredulous, too. I had hoped it would not come to this, but... It is unfortunate. We will... Defeat you with all our might! We're fighting here? Not if I can help it. We will give you tonight. Huh? Pack your supplies and get out of here. Come tomorrow, rescue teams of all sorts will take up the chase. And attack you without hesitation. And not just you. Anyone that goes with Charmander will be considered an enemy. The trackers will attack without mercy. That goes for us too. We will join the hunt to be rid of you. Against all odds, you must run. Run, run. And survive. You must run till you uncover the truth. Alakazam! There will be no mercy the next time we meet. Farewell. Aw, oh, damn. I kept thinking Char Charizard would look back, but he didn't. In their own way, Alex Sam's team has faith in you, too. Didn't I say this before? I'm not gonna worry anymore. Whatever happens, I'll always have faith in you, Charmander. Even if we're attacked by other rescue teams, I won't be scared. What good will it do if you don't believe in yourself, Charmander? Charmander. Caterpie. Charmander, I made a promise, remember? That we would make a res rescue team base here. That I would join your rescue team when I grew up. Charmander, don't give up. You're a hero to me, Charmander. I believe in you too, Charmander. Charmander, Charmander, Charmander. Okay, I won't give up. Never give up. Never surrender. Yeah, that's right. That's more like it. That's what we expect from our Charmander. We'll have to leave for the time being. But let's be sure to come back. And we'll bring the truth back with us. Hells yeah! The next dawn. I'm showering. A lot. I'm being loud and obnoxious. Morning, Charmander. It's early, but of course you'd be up by now. Are you ready to leave? I'm all set. Yep, looks like... Excuse me. <laughs> yep, looks like we're ready. From now on, we're fugitives. This isn't going to be a dang this is going to be a dangerous trip. I don't want to get our team members involved. Let's not tell them. We have to get away from the rescue teams hunting us. We have to get away at all cost. Yes, we have to escape. Like Alakazam said that time. That time yesterday. I'm just going to start singing sticks and stuff like this. I can damn it, I can't remember the words. Oh, mama, I can hear you were crying. You're so scared and all alone. Yes, who am I? Hangman is coming down from the gallows and I don't have very long. Until I discover the truth, I have to run and survive. Even if it means going to the edge of this world. Okay, let's get going. Charmander! Caterpie and Metapod too. Oh, and even Jumpluff. 
for the record, that was uh, Renegade by Styx. A song about running from the long arm of the law. I, I actually jumped into the song, though, so I might as well sing the next song. The next verse. But, damned if I can't remember it. Me too. Ooh. Ah, Diglett. Good morning, it's me, Diglett. I wanted to send you off, too. Everyone. Ah, and even this guy came. Clunk. That's right, act like nothing's different. It's a letter. Charmander, can you read it? Charmander began reading the letter. Take care. It's for well, but only for now. Until the day I can deliver mail to you again, I'll always be waiting. The wandering postal carrier, Pelipper. Even Pelipper. Everyone, thank you! The other Pokemon will be waking up soon. You have to go! Hurry! Yep. Charmander, let's go. Hit the road. Take care! I'll be waiting for both of you to return. Yep, thank you. We'll be back, that's for sure. Take care until then. Hell yeah! Thus began Charmander's cruel and arduous journey as a renegade. Over forbidding mountains. Wow! Aren't these fishers amazing? Across fields of fire. The environment is out of control here, too. The forest fire is still raging. Wasn't my fault. But throughout it all... Wait, we don't actually get to adventure through this? What the hell? Charmander's team kept their heads held high. Without a complaint, they marched on. Huh. Yeah. We should travel the long way. But while we were moving, I couldn't help thinking. All sorts of places have been affected by natural disasters. I'm sure many Pokemon are suffering because of the calamities. The calamity. The calamity! I wish we could get back to doing our rescue work. Sorry, I shouldn't complain. We have to get away now, period. Ah, I hear voices. I think they went this away! Can't get away. Not from all of us. We have to get rid of Charmander quickly. Oh no! Are they catching up to us? Charmander, we better go. Lapis Cave. The cha cha cha. Oh, I forgot that was still linked. That should run out soon. Alright. We've got a bit of time left. Not too much time in this dungeon. Oh, I'm cringing. Ouch. Ow, stop it! Hiya! Ah, fucking Zubat. Pikachu, kill him. Friggin' leech life. Alright. Oh, I only have one orange berry left. Damn! I have to find more! Kapoom! Ah, super effective. So much more satisfying than normal effective. I love how actioning the music is in here. Alright, well, we just got to a new floor, and there's a Nidorina, I guess? Is that the No, not Nidorina. I, I don't even know what that thing is called. I'm just gonna attempt to stare. You know what? I'm just going to stare at him until next episode. Bye, guys!